Welcome to this YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to look at the query function. I combine it with the offset and the match function. Quite interesting. Stay with me. Let's see what we can do. So I say query, open bracket. My data range is here, comma, in quotes, select all. And I'm going to say limit one. If I do that, comma, I have one header, close brackets. There you go. So if I say select all, limit one, I get product one returned right here. Okay, let's see what happens if we add offset. If I say offset one, you get product two. If I say offset two, you get product three. If I say offset four, you'd get product five. Let's understand what is happening. Let's go back, remove offset. When I remove offset, I'm at, I'm here, product one, okay? Then if I'm at product one and I say offset, of set one, I get product two. So without offset, I'm at product one. Then if I add offset one, it moves one step down. That's why I return product two. Okay, hope you get the idea. If I say three, if I without offset, I'm at product one. Then if I say three, it's going to move one, two, three, and then return product four right here. So that is what is happening here. Having understood that, I don't want to keep going in and adjusting offset 3, offset 4. That is very inefficient. I want to make the 3 dynamic. And to do that, I need to use the match function and the drop down in i1. So with this drop down, I'll get the match and the match gives me the position so that three that you see under offset, for example, offset three will be returned through the match function. So let's see how we go about with this. So to add, I'm going to put what and I type match, open bracket. Then what do I want to match? I want to match product one comma, then from which range am I searching that product one? From range A2 to A9, comma, I want an exact match, so I put zero, I close my brackets there, hit enter, and there you go. Now, we need to understand what is happening. When I put product one, it returns product two. Why does it pro return product two? Okay, let's see what our match function is giving us. Oh, to understand what is happening, let's first copy this match function and put it out here. Control V. There you go. It returns one. Okay. Now, remember, without the match, as I showed you in the previous example, if I say without offset, it returned to me product one. So if I say offset one, it's going to move one step down and return product two. That means I want to return product one, I need to subtract a one, okay, from the match. So I go in here, I subtract one and press enter. So when I have product one here, it returns product one. Let's change this, product three. There you go, returns product three. And therefore it's very dynamic and I don't have to go in there, change offset three, offset four. I just control everything on this drop down right here. This has been helpful. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you have not yet, give me your comments. I want to hear from you, any challenges you face.
and you can share with me a look at it. Have a great day.